I have a feeling that uh, a lot of producers, young producers, or not, um, they, they tend to think that you have to uh, be on a really big label so that people start knowing about your stuff. Uh, but in some cases, it's just a, a combination of uh, factors out of your control. It's totally. It's, it's, it has to do with things we just don't know, finally. It's like, it's like that. Yeah. I think you can hear it if somebody wants to become famous and, and uh, tries to copy a, a style that is already there or tries to adopt himself to this label. And then, I mean, that's so easy with today's technology. If you, if you listen good and just work hard, you can copy every track, I would say, and change it a little bit so it's your own track. Do you ever look into uh, an artist's background? If you like their music, do you want to find out more about them? Or no, that's a, that's a good thing about the internet that you can like trace people back and, and, and you stalk them on Facebook. What? <laughs> stalk them on Facebook? Oh uh, no, that's not my thing. But um, yeah, stalk their records on on Discogs and, and I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's that's interesting. If I have a new name and I want to know where where he's from and how old he is, actually, that's very interesting. I think. Because sometimes there's this guy 18 years old and it sounds like it's, he must be 45 or something. And that's also a, a new thing, I would say. There are some, some very, very highly talented young people which came out in the last years. Um, most of them use analog gear, actually. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, it's coming back. Uh, Roman, um, you had a lot of aliases for, for your music. Um, why did you feel the need to, to release all the different names? For me it was a lot easier to make music with a different uh, personality in my head, or a different name I could hide, hide behind. I mean, it's always... It's different if you, if you take your own name and, 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 and bring it to public, or go on stage or something, or if you, if you, if you hide behind another name. And this, the weird thing was that with the first record I put out with my own name was at the same time, in terms of sales, my biggest record. But then soon after I was, had to make the decision, um, what kind of music am I finally? Am I, am I this person who tries to bring out another one like the one before and try to have another big hit? And I did exactly the, diff, um, the opposite because it was a situation where I felt quite afraid of, you know, like uh, being, um, let's say, like, if, if people like, think that like, Roman Flügel is exactly this and nothing else, he's putting out another Gates now for the next 10 years, this which I didn't want to do. So, finally I started to release records under my own name with a very wide range of music. And that's um, what, what um, is my personality finally? I don't want to be like, stuck on this you know, one thing. Um, so, what are your plans for, for this year, release wise? Are you going for another album, Philip? No, no, definitely not. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to release some EPs here and there. And um, that's it. Is there a strategy behind uh, an album, putting out an album, instead of uh, separate EPs? I mean, did you want to do a, did you want to make an album, uh, like a conceptual album, or just a collection of tracks? Um, the, the, the different strategies, I mean, the last, the last album I did was kind of like uh, this thing where I took myself out and uh, I just was. I just worked on on music for a long time, for like five months, without playing anywhere and being like influenced from the outside and not buying too many records and stuff. More listening to old records and, and different music and all that stuff. And then finally there was this album, and uh, I don't know if I, if if I could choose, I would 
and I wouldn't have to earn money. I would take five years to work on it now. <laughs> I don't need to release anything now, but somehow you have to get back on track. And, um, and also it's good if the label says, okay, we want it to be released because they want to release it. Um, that you, 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 you get a date where you, you finish it. Otherwise, I can say only for myself, but I would never finish anything. <laughs> well, there's a, a new 12 inch coming on dial, I think, end of March. That what, that's what Lawrence told me, I'm not sure, but I hope for. And there's another one on um, Live at Robert Johnson in oh, end of April, I guess. I'm currently working in the studio on, on, on and hopefully I will end up having an album. And uh, I'm working on that. Um, what's it like at uh, Robert Johnson? Because it's like a myth, it's, it's, a, it's a legend. Mm. It's like Ben Kine, Panorama, mm. Robert Johnson. Maybe Robert Johnson. No, it's, it's, it's for me. It's, it's um, really it plays a very very important part of my life. I mean, being able to play there for 11 years now, almost 12, and um, not being forced to to do like anything that works. Finally, you know, like like be, be, be as a, as the as the DJ is playing there, um, we can definitely have our own um, development in terms of music and everything. So there was never the question of, um, sorry, there were only 50 guests, next week we got someone else playing. It's not like that. So it's, it's like this group of people who really believe into this place as a club that is focused on the music, finally. Not on the money. What's the capacity? Like 150. It's up to, uh, let's say, if Ricardo's playing 600 people, <laughs> but then the roof's almost like, I don't know, on fire. Mm. But, um, I'd like to thank you for um, being here with us tonight, and um, we should all uh, be looking forward to uh, the party tonight. It's uh, Studio Martin, starting at uh, 11. It's uh, Bill, all these guys here, uh, Minus, Vlad, uh, Roman, Efremin, and myself. Uh, so, um, we'd like to thank you guys for being here, uh, and we'll see you tonight at the party. And we can uh, now go to uh, all these amazing rooms and check them out. Food, drinks, and analog gear. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Suntem la workshopul Red Bull Academy 2011 și uh, avem un interviu în exclusivitate cu Roman Flugan. Hello. Hello. Um, we have a few questions for you. Um, it's your first time in Romania. It is. Yeah. What have you heard so far about the Romanian clubbing scene? Well, I know I know some people from Romania, some DJs like uh, Rares, Rares and Radu, and the, this guy who run the um, a label called Arapia. I think, yeah. and that is basically all I know about the Romanian club scene or the Romanian DJs. So it's for me it's the first time I'm playing here. One of the milestones of your career mm. is the connection with Robert Johnson Club in Frankfurt. Yes. Can you tell us what memories link you to this club, mm. venues? Well, it's a place that is actually a little bit outside of, of the inner city of Frankfurt. It's not in the center, it's a bit outside at the Main River. And it's a place, normally most people would have said, you can't open a club in this building. 
But finally, it ended up as a place, as the most important place for for electronic music in Frankfurt for the last 10 years, I would say, because it's a place where people are really dedicated to the music. You have a wonderful sound system, really good sound this system. Great. And the place is not too big. It's full with 200 people, 250, up to 300 people. It's packed. And you have a dance floor in the middle, a bar, a sound system, only a few lights, and that's it. Very simple. It's, it's about the essence of club music. <laughs> Alongside the Demin and Cosmin uh, Tarege at Red Bull uh, Music Academy at Studio Martin. Yes. Tonight, what are your expectations for tonight, and uh, what shall we expect? Well, I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm really excited because um, it's. I mean, it's the first time. I don't know the people. I don't know the club. I look really looking forward to that. But finally, I will try to do what I want to do, which is. A selection of records, um, all like between house up to techno. But I will see. I hopefully um, the people will enjoy the party. That's the main thing, you know. So I'm looking. I'm looking forward. <laughs>